What's up you guys? Hey, we're gonna do a quick video today on this best arc welder. They reached out to me, asked if I'd do a uh, video for them. If they sent it to me, I said, sure, no problem, send it. I have no problem uh, helping out somebody or if they wanna get their name out there, no problem, did some research. Actually, best arc has uh, got some pretty good reviews. Uh, it's all sold off of Amazon, so uh, you can go check them out. I'll leave a link of this welder in the description if you decide you actually wanna go check it out. Cool little welder right here. So this says it's a MIG, TIG, and a stick welder, but this particular one doesn't have the spot. Uh, that's the that's the uh, the big brother. It actually does the TIG. This is, is just a wire welder, flux core, uh, and a stick welder. All right, y'all, correction time. This does have lift TIG capabilities, okay? No gas comes into this machine. You can see here in the back, there's nowhere uh, for gas. So your wire is always gonna be flux core. You can run lift TIG and stick weld. Now, none of the uh, components come for lift TIG. The only components that come is just your, uh, your wire lead and your stick weld and a ground. So again, my bad correction, you can do lift TIG on this. So again, it's wire weld, which will be flux core, lift TIG and stick weld. If you look down here, You've got your buttons if you want to go from 2T to 4T, which all 2T is, is when you pull this trigger, you got to keep holding it while you're welding, you let it go, you're done. You click it to 4T, and you can let the trigger go, and it keeps welding until you break connection. So if you got arthritis or you got something long you need to do, you just pull that button and just concentrate on welding, and then just pull it away, and it stops. Your different wire settings from 030, 035, and 040, you just cycle through the ones you want it'll kind of give you a suggested setting on there already here it goes through you flip through your what you're welding with you know the mig tig or, or the stick pretty simple now this is only a 110 power this is not a 220 like uh the azuno it's just a 110 so open it up right here does come with a spool of a two pound spool of wire uh, pretty basic comes through here to your tensioner run through out to your welder. Cool little feature though, it has a uh, feeder. So if you push that button, just push it out so you ain't gotta sit there and hold the button for a long time. It's got all your specifications in there, your suggested wire size for thickness of steel and all that kind of stuff. Not a very big machine. My hand is bigger than that. It's not made for long-term heavy duty welding. This is small repairs or you wanna, you know, wanna build something simple. It has an automatic fan versus the Azuno uh, which is actually kind of weird. The Azuno is much more expensive and the fan runs the whole time. This fan's automatic. It gets hot in there, comes on. Said what we're gonna do, I already have some steel right here. Just tacked it on each end. Before anybody starts hitting me up with the, oh, that metal ain't professionally prepared. Hey man, this is just a uh, demonstration of what it can do, okay? We'll do a weld a little bit here, then I'll put the stick on there with, I didn't even try the stick yet. So this will be the first for both of us. Anyway, we'll weld a little bit, probably on maybe 80 amps, and then we'll go 90 amps, and we'll flip it over and hit with a stick welder and see what it does. And uh, basically let you guys uh, see what it does and what you think. So disclaimer, real quick, I am not a professional welder. I'm not licensed in welding. I've just been welding for years. I've known how to do it for a long time. And like most of you guys have small projects or you got something to do, you're looking for a little welder to help you get the project done without breaking the bank. And that's what this thing will do. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera to the welder the best I can. I don't have a camera that's uh, all nice and fancy and that'll uh, protect that, that big uh, blast while I'm welding there, but I want you to see it in real time. That way you don't think that I'm uh, pulling a fast one on you. So let me show you real quick. There is the, what we're gonna tack and I will angle the camera down there real quick and show it to you. I don't wanna drag this video on too much. So we're gonna go 80 amps, probably, I don't know, about an inch or so. See what 80 amps looks like. Eddie amps is a little hot. Bring that up to you. Let me kind of file that off. It's a little hot, burning through, so we'll just cut it down to 70. See what that does. Here we go. And we'll fill in that little hole. Oh yeah, nowhere near as hot. Oh yeah, nowhere near as hot. Builds up a little better. Clean that off. All right, so there you go. 
a lot better weld. You look from underneath, I don't know if you can see in there or not. Good penetration. On 70 amps, this thing actually cooks a little bit better than my Zuno for 70 amp. So that's 70 amp. Uh, we don't need to go any higher because this is only eighth inch. So I want to burn a hole in it, but let's try 60 amp and just see what it looks like. See if she builds up too much. Well, that's pretty good. There you go. Damn good weld. Looks like the 60 amp on this uh, eighth inch steel is kind of like the magic number. Good penetration, does have a little bit of gap. Again, this is just for demonstration. Uh, does a whole lot better, kind of straight to the side. There was the 80, did okay, a little too hot to burn it whole. 70's better, but looks like the 60, 60 amps on this uh, eighth inch, looks like that's the magic number. Nice penetration, you look on the inside, you can always tell, I was always taught that. You can see that on the inside, it's got good penetration. But that's a good little weld. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook the stick welder up. Uh, I, got, I think I got some 332 in there. We'll just put some steel together, throw a little bead on it and see how she does. Switch our ground over to negative since we're not on wire welder. So this wire welder doesn't actually unplug like most other units. You can pull it out, roll it up and get out of the way. It will stay attached, which is not a big deal. Also, if you guys notice, you probably see me, it does come with the cup. Where's the cup? It does come with the cup. I just don't like the cups on uh, flux core. I, even though this is pretty flush right there, I don't like the cups. It kind of makes it, uh, can't really see around it. So I just, I use them without it. And being as this can't use gas anyway, don't worry if some slag or something gets in the port. It's not gonna hurt nothing. All right, we got us a 7018, 332nd rod. Just kind of ground up a couple pieces of steel. Let's see if we can get them to, to match up, to see how it does. I used to be a whole lot better at stick than wire. It's going to get you over here. We're just going to get these two pieces together. And you know what? Let's start on, let's start on 80 again. We'll switch it over to wire. Or I'm sorry, not wire. We're gonna switch it over to uh, stick weld. Start on 80 amps. That's pretty good. Pretty good little stinger there. Let's see what we do. Tell you what, let's go a little hotter. I think this needs to be a little hotter. Let's go to 90. Now the most amps you're gonna get out of uh, the stick is 105. So we'll just go to 90. Be a little bit hotter. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna draw a line. I just tried it real quick. I need to get my settings. Again, this is the first time I've used a stick. Let's get this set. I'm gonna draw a white line. Below that white line, what I think now is probably uh, probably the better setting. So I started off with 80, didn't do that great, went with 90, it was actually too much. So you know what, we're gonna split the difference. We're gonna go to 85. Again, I think these rods may not be in the best of shape. They kind of set out, they probably got a little moisture to them. But no excuses, let's go rock and roll, baby. I'm happier with that. All right, let's chip. Let's chip and look. All right, so no judgments, man. See, this metal's pretty rusty. I didn't clean it off the best. Just wanted to do, a, do some demonstration. Again, I started off with 80. Didn't, wasn't enough. Went with 90. Was too much. Went with 85. And uh, welded a whole lot better. Of course, that welds would be a whole lot better if I really ground all this up and had a better connection. But anyway, you can see, now one time that thing dimmed down or anything, that's what a 332nd rod all right, you guys, so, hey, for around 150 bucks, this is a good little machine. Do any kind of repair around the house. Uh, if you got fence work stuff you wanna do, um, maybe something on some small machines, this will definitely get it done. Now, 
I welded that a couple times, told you I was having trouble with the stick welder, trying to fine tune it and find that perfect um, amp draw for it to work right. So I've been welding on it for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, messing with it pretty straight. Hadn't once kicked off once, uh, hadn't kicked off once, uh, hasn't overheated. And she's still running like a champ so and this is the best arc uh mig the 145 it's 110 powered so if you're going to use it make sure you have you a good size uh, extension cord man preferably 10 no 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 less than 12 gauge would greater you know what i mean uh but tw 10 12 gauge would be perfect for this thing uh it has the option for 030 035 and 040 wire which means it has some oomph to it i'm actually going to use this to fix on my son's truck uh, it's catalytic converter when he bought it the guys who had it cut it and gutted it so now i gotta get under there and we weld all that stuff all right you guys once again i'm leaving the link in the description for this welder it's the best arc uh 145 i think you're gonna like it and for, like i said for the price range it can do everything you need to do so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you decide to maybe get one of them welders appreciate y'all